technique that I teach all my clients in my private coaching program is called radical acceptance. See, radical acceptance is about accepting the situation in your life or the moment that you're in exactly the way that it is right now. Accepting that it couldn't be any other way considering everything that led up to that moment that you're in. Doesn't mean you need to approve of it. See, some of you guys, you're, you're living in hell right now and you desperately want to get out of it. It's not about getting rid of the wanting to get out of it. It's about turning your mind away from rejecting reality, which is only creating suffering, to accepting reality. See, everything is caused, right? And everything has a cause, whether we like it or not. Changing reality requires accepting it first. You have to realize and notice that when you're fighting reality with words like, this shouldn't happen or why me, that it's causing more suffering. So once we see that we're rejecting reality, we can see how that feels in our body and begin to turn our mind towards accepting reality. We can practice this by taking a deep breath, right? And changing our posture, right? Which sends a signal to our brain that we're accepting reality. If I told you there was a depressed person behind door number one, what would their body language look like? What would their tone of voice sound like? Remember that the state of your body, right, will influence how you're thinking. The way you're thinking will influence the state of your body. You can remind yourself that life is still worth living even though things aren't the way you want them to be and even though you're feeling pain right now. In fact, right, on the other side of pain is greatness. On the other side of pain is confidence. On the other side of pain is a newfound perspective of what is truly possible when you connect beliefs to massive action and clear intention. You can remind yourself that it's okay to not be okay. And over time, as you stop running away and rejecting reality, you're more likely to move into a consistent state of acceptance in your life. And this allows you to reach your goals way, way quicker. It allows you to not get stuck on how you feel. It allows you to not get wrapped up in feeling good. Because not everything that's not everything that feels bad is bad for you. Just like not everything that feels good is good for you. Some of us have had to figure that out the hard way. So learn to accept reality and stop resisting it. 